Welcome back. It's 842. Are you planning to watch the Oscars as so many throughout Metro Detroit are? Well, it would be nice to actually go, but since you can't, watching it is the next best thing. Watching it in style is even better. And here to tell us all about a special event that is coming up is Chris Rolette. He is with the Southgate Community Players. Right. And we're talking about uh, watching the Oscars, but actually participating and, and enjoying it a little more than you can at home. Correct. It's called the uh, the Oscar Experience, and it's at the MJR Digital Cinema 20 in Southgate, and it's twenty five dollars a person, okay. and thirty dollars at the door. There's eighteen restaurants there. Wow. There's wine, there's champagne, there's uh, Pepsi, and there's popcorn. You can enjoy during the Oscars. They show the Oscars on the uh, the big screen uh, in the four hundred seat theater. So you get to watch them. It's almost almost like being there. And this isn't just an ordinary watch party. You guys are actually sanctioned by the Oscars themselves. Correct. The, the Academy only sanctions, uh, I believe there's 49 in the entire country. And this is one of two in Michigan. This is the Detroit area Oscar party. And there's one in Grand Rapids as well. So if you want to come to the official Oscar party, this is the only one in the Detroit area. Now, as far as what you can expect uh, from the Oscars themselves, you predicting any surprises other than uh, Ben Affleck and the uh, the uh, snub that he uh, received? <laughs> yeah, I expect he won't win, but because <laughs> he wasn't nominated, uh, I don't. I, you know, it's hard for me to predict anything. I honestly haven't seen that many of the movies. See, and I would have figured you would have seen them all. No, I just don't have much time, but. I, I, I rarely get a chance to watch the Oscars themselves that night because I'm so busy. Because there's a lot going on. There's raffles. There's, you know, like I said, there's 18 restaurants. There's food. There's raffles. There's a, it's called an apple raffle where you purchase caramel apples and then there's only 100 or 150 that are sold and one of those people will win a flat screen TV. Wow. So there's, lot, there's lots of big prizes there. It's pretty nice. What is the turnout like? Because of course there are big movie fans all over the world and particularly here in Michigan, but what is the turnout like for these events? It's usually pretty close to sold out. They, uh, the theater only seats 450 people okay. and generally we're at 400 or, or pretty close to 4, 450 every, every time we do it. This is the I think this is the seventh year it's been sanctioned. But they've been doing the party there, not officially, for 15 years. Now, we're talking about the Oscars. What is the dress code? I mean, I would imagine that folks are, are looking their best that night. They, it changes. Everybody usually wears a suit. It's, it's not mandatory. A lot of people dress up. I got to tux myself. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it, a lot of people wear tuxes. Some people just dress up nice. Some people just kind of business casual. But... Yeah, because I would imagine you want to actually feel the part and embrace the mood of the night, and it's such a spectacular evening that it seems only right to be dressed up for that occasion. Exactly. You sit in a nice, comfortable theater. I know a lot of people like to sit at home in their pajamas and watch the Oscars, but it's a whole different experience when you sit with 400 people in, a, in their comfortable seats and to watch the Oscars on the big screen. Now, how can we learn more about this event? You can go to the player's website, which is uh, www.scponstage.com, and you can actually buy your tickets there if you go under fundraisers, and there's a link there, and you can just click on it and buy your tickets for the Oscars there. Uh, it lists all the restaurants that are involved there on that same page. Okay. Or you can call, uh, which is 734 282 4727. You can call and order your tickets that way. And if you didn't get all that information, fear not, we will have that all on our website, which is, of course, wxyz.com.